Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, it's Alex, and today we're going to be checking out Dark Zone. This game mode is a mix of PvE and PvP, and it is the final game mode that you unlock, the perennial end game in Marvel Future Revolution. So what does the end game look like? Well, let's check it out. This is a level 100 zone. You have to complete the very last mission. You literally have to go through the entire epic quest, the storyline, and then you will unlock Dark Zone. Dark Zone is one giant arena with rotating bosses and rotating spawns and mobs, and it mainly drops Dark Arena or Dark Zone points. I don't know if I call it Dark Arena, and it drops Dark Zone cards. And these Dark Zone cards, the Omega cards, are hugely useful because they will contribute to some very, very good Dark Zone sets. So you want to be farming these up. But it's extremely difficult to go in alone, so you're going to want to bring a party. So I'm actually, well, there we go, I'm waiting on an invitation, and we're actually attempting, we're testing out in this video, because, again, not much is known about the Dark Zone yet, it sort of fits the name Dark Zone. Uh, we're not sure yet if we can go in with two parties of three, and if we will be successful. So we're going to check it out here. The thing about Dark Zone, and what makes Dark Zone so interesting, is that it is a mixture of a PvE and PvP zone. You're going to find ultra end game bosses there with extremely high hp who hit extremely hard so there's the pve aspect and there's mobs around as well that you can fight although they don't really drop anything but on top of that if you toggle your targeting system you can go ahead and turn it into a pk a player kill zone to then go after other players now we did have some drama and i covered it in a video where basically players were just trading uh wins trading kills off each other to boost up their dark zone scores because at the end of the week of course they tally the dark zone scores and they give out weekly rewards and the rewards can be very very good because you get these level 100 dark zone badges four to six star so they can be extremely powerful if you get the right ones and you get the right um star levels but uh, they changed that, so you only get one point now from killing players, from, from going after other players. So, PvP is not as popular right now in the Dark Zone. It'll probably come back, because it's intended to be a crazy PvE, PvP simultaneous zone. Right now, as you will see when we get in, the, the PvP aspect of it is more of an annoyance or a hindrance, because you can actually accidentally deal damage to fellow players especially when you have 40 or you know possibly even 50 players all attacking one um boss at the same time which surprises you know, happens happens surprisingly often even though it's only in soft launch i'm imagining it's going to be even crazier when the game launches globally in september or whatever um and you can have basically friendly fire which is kind of a bummer so i'm not sure what's going on with the team here we're gonna fast forward to when we're actually in the dark zone so we can actually show gameplay one really important psa that i actually didn't know until now after i recorded the video so i'm just putting this in at the beginning although for the rest of the video you're going to hear me talking about it accidentally dealing damage to other players when you're not in the white mode or in the purple mode in the purple mode you are hunting other players in the white mode you're hunting other players or the regular bosses the, the pve mobs but in the red mode you will not deal any damage to players that are in the same party as you like that and you will also not deal any damage to players that are in the same alliance as you so even if they're not in the same party as you if all of your alliance mates decide to jump onto dark zone at the same time and you're all attacking a boss and you all have the red icon active none of you will be damaging each other but in that case in, in the case that you're about to see when i'm playing we're playing with people who are not in my party and who are not in my alliance because it's just two two to three different alliances that have just you know, all grouped up together to play friend-wise, uh, and that is what um, causes you to actually accidentally deal damage to um, to each other. So, yo, what's up? What's up, Exterminator? That's dope. Spidey. Spidey to mighty, baby. So, yeah, hopefully that helps. You definitely want to group up with people uh, in terms of, you know, getting them on your team so you don't deal damage to them. They don't deal damage to you when you're fighting against the bosses. And then, ideally... Don't hit me. What the heck, dude? I <laughs> He's a bit too thirsty here. And then ideally, uh, you know, best case scenario, you're playing with a, a larger group. You know, you don't even need to be in the, the same party at that point uh, if they're all in the same alliance. Because that way, you will also not deal any damage to them. So, for the clips that you're about to watch where I'm playing with uh, that's Captain America, Brody, he's in my alliance, not in my party. He wasn't taking any damage from my attacks, but other players from Breakfast Club Alliance were unfortunately taking damage because they were not in my party and not in my alliance. So yeah, it's kind of tricky, it's kind of sticky, but 
you can definitely work around it okay so here we are in the dark zone and you can see at the very top it says remaining activity time 59 minutes and counting so this is the other tricky part about the dark zone you cannot play dark zone all day every day you only have an allotted hour per day to play dark zone so you kind of have to coordinate with your friends at the very least you need to coordinate with yourself and your time and you really have to figure out um what you um you know what you can do in that set amount of time to rack up the most amount of points or at least rack up ooh, rack up um i don't want to fight that guy rack up uh the most opportunities to get dark zone cards so right now i'm actually trying to meet up with my uh team here and see what's going on because we're a bit uh out of out of order and and out of um organization right now so i'm actually showing you one thing that you can do even if you're sort of weaker in the dark zone is you can actually just farm these remnants of chaos now this might seem kind of pointless but each one is giving me a point it's actually giving me uh, two or three points i believe and once you build up enough dark zone points you will get a dark zone buff and you can see the buffs here will go up every 20 points and these are useful you know you get up to 200 points that's a 10 percent increase in pvp damage and uh, super uh, villain damage and if you're wondering what the difference is pvp damage is against other players and uh super villain damage is against the super villain bosses so it really benefits for both you have this really cool kingtron ultron uh sort of actually those ultron this really cool ultron uh sort of bus stop which is hilarious uh, you also have keep in mind a dark zone times two point bonus so at at a certain hour of the day you'll get a times two bonus for uh, being in the dark zone for the hour so you may want to if, if you can if you have the flexibility you may want to build up uh or you a lot your time for then to build up dark zone points faster because it'll give you double for everything instead of giving you two or three points here for these nodes it'll give you four or six killing mobs will give you more points killing bosses will give you more points so on and so forth actually not mobs just just the bosses or other players okay so here we go a few people have trickled in and we now have a team of three attacking this prisoner so we're just going to take turns bopping him for damage as you can see i'm dealing some pretty decent uh hits to him but at the same time he's dealing a lot to me so this is really not something that you can solo uh or even duo you're gonna need a pretty big group you're probably gonna want someone like captain america with you uh and you also need to steer clear of aoe attacks and actually people shouldn't be using aoe at all because again you'll get hit by aoe attacks and sometimes you'll see me get hit by aoe attacks but yeah this is pretty challenging content i don't know why these guys are using aoe attacks we're gonna have to have a discussion after the fact but this takes mass coordination not only to meet up at the right spot in the dark zone but if you want to bring along more than four players you're gonna have to coordinate on you know in the game through the through the private system the private uh, mail system because there is a private mail system or through something like discord which is what we used but then you have to pay attention because for melee characters especially your black widows your captain americas your spider-mans you can't just fly in like i do some of these attacks right if they fly in they're going to take a whole bunch of damage right because once i let this skill off it may not target see i just see i just got popped by that uh black widow's lightning attack accidentally of course but uh, i did because i was too close to them when they were popping it off so I, I do think that it would help a lot if the devs made it so that you could not I'm gonna die that you could not damage anyone when you don't have purple selected purple or white because it's just too hard to to target uh just the enemy right and to hit only the enemy with all of my skills even the auto attack can actually uh target multiple enemies and then that will lead to multiple i think that guy just died that uh binary that uh captain marvel but i i kind of want to i kind of hope to show you guys what it looks like when there's a huge group this is a decent group we've got seven players here all bopping the same boss but yeah the other thing is i can't pop my alt at all <laughs> because uh i can't pop my alt at all because it's got aoe damage so there we go we got one card it's not the card that i was looking for unfortunately for the mini bosses they have much less hp so they're easier to take down but uh they won't give you an additional reward for the larger bosses you know maestro kingpin the, the named bosses loki when you take them down it will give you that that ranking of highest dps to lowest dps 
individually as players, and then you will get an additional reward sent to your inbox under items where you can claim it for, uh, you know, the additional, it's an additional Omega card box that will basically give you another chance to roll one of those uh, cards. So I think we're sort of organizing here behind the scenes for another run. It's pretty cool. Like this does give you the traditional MMO RPG experience where you're sort of raiding with your friends in an open zone. This is really as MMO as it gets, especially end game wise. So I'm really happy that this, oops, I don't want to target him. Uh, I'm really happy that this is like an end game piece of content rather than an early game piece of content, because then you would maybe not play it as you uh, progress in the game and got stronger. But as it stands now, this is really uh, one of the key game modes, despite the time uh, crunch, because you know it costs a lot of time to uh, invest if you're going to play for the full hour. And especially furthermore, if you're going to play at a specific hour during the day when there is a times two bonus, but uh, for that, the, not only are the rewards good, but the uh, the gameplay is actually quite fun. So there we got 13 points plus the one kill. So it sort of tracks your progress there in the top top right hand corner ish. So yeah, I'm gonna fast forward here, but let's see um, if we can take down this Malakis. This should be very difficult, and this is probably going to uh, be a very long fight. But let's see. Who knows? Maybe some players will join us. Some other players. And we will get um, some help. But here we go. Malekith spawns. He starts looking for targets. I certainly don't want to be his first target, so I'm going to wait. I'm going to be a little bit selfish here. Come in after the fact. Whoa, that one hit took 60% of my HP. Okay, I understand now. Yeah, that's, that's painful. That's terrifying. Yeah, I'm not really sure I want to get too close to uh, to Malakith. Why mandalas? Why? Why mandalay gem fragments? Why? This would be a good time to pop this. Oh, Cap, get out of the way, bud. Whoa, 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 whoa. So as you can see, even though, uh, you know, the boss is, is small, you know, he's not a huge... Uh, you know, target. He um, came after me. He uh, can create some really huge attacks. Those are targeted at me. Okay, nice. Leave me alone, please. Okay, we are halfway down the first bar. That's not bad. Not bad, not bad. We lost somebody already. You can respawn... I think as many times as you want. Uh, you can spawn, I, I believe you can respawn three times into Dark Zone. So you can die three times. After you die three times, you're gonna have to rejoin. So you'll lose your Dark Zone buffs. But uh, yeah, you don't You don't have a, like the one hour limit is the limit for Dark Zone. It's not like there's a, a death limit, which is good because you can get unlucky um, with deaths. And uh, it's not really your fault, right? Oh, he's thirsty. He's thirsty, all right. Whoa, he has such cool attacks. Such cool attacks. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. A simple spell should do. My magic fails me. So yeah, the group positioning is very important. My power has ebbed. And then not, not flying into AOEs. Fails me. Very important. And just staying, staying up. Yeah, these attacks are freaky, dude. Okay. Oh, he's targeting that Captain Marvel. No, nope, I don't want to target Hostile. Okay, nice. Oh, he's coming after me now. <laughs> okay, yeah. If you do, if you do enough damage to the boss, you're gonna get their attention, and then you may need to just run away from some of their attacks. But it it helps because then you know exactly where they are. And he's like right in front of me. My power has ebbed. My magic fails me. I got the. Ow. Ow. I had the protection from Captain America. I was fine, I think. My power has ebbed. A simple spell should do. This looks like it's gonna take another 10 minutes. He is a slippery dude. 
Oh, I took a I took a hit for like 40k, 40%, not 40k. That would one shot you for sure. The slower the general tip in Marvel Future Revolution is that the slower the circle disappears, like the longer it takes for that charge up uh, skill to disappear when they're sort of setting up an attack, the uh, the more damage it does. So if, if the boss is there for like five seconds channeling and that red circle is just like like that one there, that would probably kill anybody. Yeah, look at how long that takes. That's just like an instant boom. Instant, that's a KO type of attack. Do not want to get in the way of that at all. Oh, got a little close, too close for comfort there. Dancing with the devil next to that. Uh, oh, okay, he's chasing me again. <laughs> Hee -hee. Just uh, oh, it's not what I wanted to do. I want to power boost. I pressed the wrong button. There's the land button right next to the power boost button. So you know which one I pressed, boys. Okay, we're oh, I accidentally just killed four stand. Sorry about that. Not what I intended to do. He's right here. <sighs> Gotta get out of that. That would have been Toaster Strudel. Okay, whoa, we got some targeting issues here. Oh, no, we don't have targeting issues. He did move over here. But, uh... Okay, yeah, I was a bit confused. I thought I had lost him. Okay, he's targeting somebody else. Bring him back over here. I don't want to feel the darkness. We're on the last bar now. Man, this has been this has been like a 20 minute fight. So you better be smashing that that like button. All right, this video better have a thousand likes because this is not just for me, for the people getting hit by my attacks, sacrificing the team, Pablo, Crimson, Leo, Brody, uh oh, Force Force Stan. I'm missing anybody? I'm probably missing somebody. I apologize if I'm missing anybody. My power has Doppelgranger. My magic fails me. That was a really good position because no one else was near him. So I could just unload. Oh, okay. He's on me. He's on me. He's on me. Yeah, you'll, you'll know when Malekith targets you. I just <laughs> kind of just dip. Uh, that's what I like about flying characters. You can literally just dip out of the battlefield. Yeah, he's kind of thirst right now. He's thirsting. Oh, he's thirsting. He's thirsting. He's thirsting. Cat, uh, Doctor Strange, you need to fly, but brother. Cap. I'm not Cap. I'm Doctor Strange. Oh, no, no, no. Psh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Chasing me. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Oh, I got knocked down. Uh oh. Oh, that was scary. I thought I was toast. I thought I was going to die. In that case, I wonder what would happen if you're not back in the dark zone. I think if you're in the dark zone, it's fine. You get the rewards even if you died recently. But um, I wonder if they boot you out of the dark zone. Like, let's say it's your third death, right? Oh, what happened? Oh, he moved. I completely whiffed on that one. My bad. He's over here. Tracking the bosses with their tiny, tiny, you know... Uh, Character models is a talent. It's a, it's a skill in and of itself in the dark zone. That's really good. He's like over on the side. We're done here. Should be done here in a second. There we go. We defeated the prime target. Wow, that took like 20 minutes. 20 million damage. Holy cow. My arms are sweating. 
Yeah, this is so this is end 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 game content huge shout out to everybody that helped that was absolutely incredible So this is what I was talking about if you defeat one of the prime bosses you will get additional rewards So yeah, we get three of these boxes. Let's go and crack these actually right now Hopefully I get something good Three malachite so and the card boxes are Unique to the characters, right? So you're gonna get different cards if you beat kingpin versus beating malachith versus beating Modok versus beating Maestro. So if you're hunting for specific cards, you can more than, you know, it's it's more than random, right? You can actually focus farm what you need. So let me see what we get here. Oh, okay. It's not a bad card. It's not a bad set. It's I have it already, so it's not a, you know, this is from a lot. This is from a daily uh, perk. And then here we go. Let's see what we get here. Okay, so we get War of the Realms. I believe I already have this card, Dark Zone 5. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Maybe this is a really good pull. Awesome, fantastic. Okay, I'm going to say sayonara to my uh, friends here. I'm going to back out of the Dark Zone. And we'll be back in a second. So that was the Dark Zone. Hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of it. Honestly, I had a lot of fun, as difficult as that was. That was probably the most difficult piece of sustained combat that I've ever done in this game. You know, 20, 30 minutes straight combat. So I'm glad that I got to share it with you guys and you got to see. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the Dark Zone. I mean, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.